The moment they told me my son had cancer, what I most remember about that is the inability to breathe. The hardest thing for parents is knowing what your children are going through. This is this is nothing but emotional. I mean, it's a roller coaster. It's I mean, it'll take a lot out of it'll take a lot out of you. I know it's going to be okay in the end, but getting there is very very hard. Hello, my name is Brett, and I'm a cancer survivor. What got me and my family through this really hard journey was a wonderful group of people and friends of kids with cancer. Join us as we see just how many ways they've touched the lives of children and families right here in St. Louis. Friends' goal is to keep them being children, and they do such an amazing job of not making this all about medicine. They give us hope. They give us laughter. They help lift your spirits and let you know that, that there's other people out there. A lot of times cancer takes out, the innocence takes out their childhood and friends of kids with cancer bring, gives it back. It gives it back to the child through toys. It gives it back to the families through fun activities. And it's just remarkable to be able to witness those kids being able to be kids again. Young children especially, play is kind of their job and being happy and having toys and having fun things to do is what their job is in life. And some of the older kids, it's the same a little bit, but more complex like electronic toys and things to keep them connected with their normal world or their normalcy, which is their friends and schoolmates and things like that. And so Friends of Kids with Cancer provides the opportunity for children to have this. Friends helps us create an environment that kids actually actually don't want to leave the office. They're upset if they have to leave early. And to, to think about what that means in the, in the grand scheme of things. A child is coming to an office for treatment and doesn't want to leave. Friends does that the most with the, with the toy closet. I mean, they know when she's laying in there and they're just hooked up and getting their treatment. And if she, when she goes and picks a toy on the way out, it just she'll go from being sad and run down to being happy and excited and it's a lot of fun. My favorite thing to get out of the toy closet would probably be the Legos and I <laughs> love the toy closet. Who is she? She's that girl on TV. Cora once picked out, um, it was like a, a chandelier. It, like a bead kind of chandelier thing that you put together and she spent quite a while doing it, putting it together, and then we were able to hang it in her room. And so the toy closet was always a really fun, really fun experience. Even still, it's kind of like you walk by the toy closet, it's like, it would be so fun to get a toy, you know. 22 years ago, our inaugural program was a toy closet at the treatment center. So we saw the great effects that that had, and we thought, oh gee, if the toy makes them happy, what else can we do? I think kids come in and they're not as worried, they're not as nervous when they come into my clinic because of the work of Friends of Kids with Cancer. They have things to help just give them a smile on a rough day. They provide opportunities for kids to uh, get to know other kids and for families to lean upon each other. The doctors take care of the medical needs, but Friends of Kids with Cancer really takes care of their emotional needs. We have art therapy, we have educational therapy, we have toy shelves, we have crisis intervention. The list is endless in ways that it can help emotionally cope with this disease. These kids have got to feel good about themselves or they're just going to stay in bed and not get up and they're not going to get better. It's that self-esteem and that good feeling inside you. Our programs are tailored to meet the needs of children seeking treatment in St. Louis. SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, St. Louis Children's Hospital, and Mercy Clinic Children's Cancer Center contact us with their specific needs. My children love coming to the Cancer Center. And even on a rough day, Jill has something planned or he, there's therapy he can go to. First and foremost, Friends helps us maintain their mental health. By maintaining their mental health, 
they don't retreat into a, into a little room and ignore the outside world. One of the greatest things Friends has done for us is providing Tasha for art therapy. Um, she's somebody that Andrew enjoys working with. He loves doing his art, and I think it helps him feel more comfortable to be able to talk to somebody else. She's helped him learn to get past some moments that caused him great anxiety. Um, it's, it's an amazing opportunity he would not have had if it was not for friends. What is the art therapy? Everybody thinks, oh, well, it's a good person who's good at doing art. No, she is not an art teacher. She is an art therapist. She will have them do things that reveal their inner selves, what's really going on. She, if a child is so frightened to get their port access, to get their chemo in their bodies, she will work with art in getting them to reveal where is the pain? What's the pain about? So the art therapist is really a, a piece of gold to us. She's the link between the deepest part of what a child thinks. Here's your toes, how are they feeling? A lot better. Really? Things are getting better? Yep. Are you taking less pain medicine for him? It has kept him trying when he didn't want to do anything else with his hands because of the neuropathy pain. It was, I was getting blood and platelets and I wasn't feeling very well because it was the first time that, it was the first time they gave me Benadryl and I wasn't feeling very well and then I had, and then Tasha decided to, um, to try to get me to do art and I really didn't want to, but whatever I did I felt a lot better. And as they're being creative, they naturally start to talk about their thoughts and their feelings and that in itself is really wonderful because if they were to keep all those worries and fears stuck inside, um, that would hinder their healing process. So getting it out and putting it into the container of the artwork is really, really helpful. The radiation, a lot of people say it makes them feel tired. Did you experience yeah, that as well? Yeah, it made me really tired since it was around my bone marrow. Oh, uh, yes. So it wouldn't be bad if I wasn't on chemo, but... To do both at the same time? Yeah, it was tough. It would be tough. Um, initially, when Cora was diagnosed with an optic glioma, which is a tumor on the optic nerve of her right eye, she had to come in for quite a few chemotherapy treatments. There were days when she would not even consider getting out of bed to come in for chemo because chemo makes kids very sick and makes you feel very miserable. And when I would say, but you get to go to art therapy, she'd be like, well, okay, I'll go. And so friends hadn't provided that for our family and for Cora. It would have made something that was already difficult even more awful and even more frustrating and difficult for not just Cora, but our whole family. I do like the black Sharpie outlining it, makes it kind of... I think I'll even outline that area too. If you were to sit a child down and just tell them to talk about their thoughts and feelings, that feels somewhat awkward to them, I think, or maybe they don't even have the words to do it quite yet, but as they're sitting and drawing, it feels very comfortable and natural, painting, um, and the words just come to them. It's in definitely trust the process of art therapy. It's whatever's on the surface that needs to come out and be expressed, it does through the art. It's just a good way to keep our mind off of the negative in our life and just look at the positive. These kids are just, they're just so amazing. You know, they, they rise to the occasion, they, uh, they deal with their cancer, they have moments where they break down and they're sad, and, but then they move right on from that and get back out and start playing around and out there. And, but they, I'm always very inspired by what they have to think, what they think and what they say. And have you always liked them since you were Yeah, I have, and then I found out my tumor was from star-shaped cells in my brain, so it was like, it like went together, it was weird. Oh, wow. Families in St. Louis need your help. Your donation to Friends of Kids with Cancer can put a smile on a child's face. A $15 donation can buy a toy to make a bad day better. $25 could pay for a family lunch or gas card. $50 or $75 could pay for tutoring or a much needed family outing. Make a difference. Donate now to Friends of Kids with Cancer. Help a kid with cancer be a kid. Call now or visit friendsofkids.org. I'm Elizabeth. I was diagnosed when I was 17 with large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four. Friends of Kids with Cancer helps me, but they also help my whole family. 
Last Christmas, they bought presents for me, my brother, and my four sisters. They sent us all to shows and events just so we could have some fun times together and forget about my cancer for just a little while. Friends of Kids with Cancer has made this journey a lot easier for us. I mean, they just really, friends, is just make sure that, you know, not just Kira is taken care of, but the whole family's taken care of, both mentally and physically. You know, I mean, they've really just been a godsend. This is not an isolated disease that hits one person. Unlike other things, this one child has a rippling effect, and it moves on to siblings, to grandparents, to aunts and uncles. Um, we recently lost a child, they lost their battle, after a fight with this disease for some time. And I know that the parents said at the end of her life, her life was so much, I'm sorry, scratch that out. Her life was so much brighter because friends constantly, until her very last week of her life, touched her in such a positive way. You gotta tell me what is the feeling now. You were angry, you were tired of mom always taking care of Haley. Now what? I'm pretty happy. Now you're pretty happy. Oh, can you make it smooth and soft and show me your happiness? Get it nice and soft. The siblings are kind of like the lost generation. They're looking at their patient wondering, what's going on? Is he gonna come home? Is he gonna get better? Hey, what about me? Nobody's paying attention to me. So all of our programs are geared at the whole family and the siblings especially. We have six children. And when Andrew was diagnosed, we made a point of not wanting to lose any of the children in the journey. And Friends has made that easy. They are always involved. The children, every single one of them can come to the events. Every single one of them is included. It's about the family, not about the one. And I think that's helped us as a family through this very long journey. Parents are so busy with their child in clinics or hospitals, surgeries, it's endless, figuring out ways to earn money. And so the bottom line is, who takes care of the sibling? They try so hard to take care of their children. Sometimes it's five children, sometimes it's two. But in any way you look at it, that sibling feels left out. I have five children, actually, and the other three can't be here right now, but they have gone above and beyond to make them feel included, um, take care of their you know, well-being, their mental well-being, their physical well-being. Um, they've even taken the siblings out individually for you know, special events like Build-A-Bear, going to the Cheesecake Factory. They, they have a siblings group, support group, it helps. And then here in the office, anytime any of us come in, if I bring the other kids, Jill always makes time to sit down and talk to them. And you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful group. The parents are supposed to be the tough ones but you know inside they are hurting so desperately. Um, they may lose their jobs, they can't go to work. How can they manage their lives? It just causes complete havoc on their family. So we have programs, we have um, our family parties where the parents all get together and they can bond. They sit there while the kids run around and play, they laugh, they cry, they share with the other parents because they know what's going on, they understand. The support system that Friends offers is incomparable to anything. It's just, it, it makes it better, if that, if, I mean, if you can say that. I mean, for what you're having to go through, it, it makes it better. They uh, provide opportunities for kids to uh, get to know other kids and for families to lean upon each other. Cancer therapy is a long uh, journey. Um, it creates a lot of stress. That stress can have tremendous impact on the emotional state, um, and which invariably can impact the physical state on the patient. The services that Friends helps us provide could not be provided to these kids. It would have a significant impact on their quality of life and their ability to succeed once treatment is done. 
I'm Cardinal Timothy Dole, and I'm the Archbishop of New York, but I, I'm a St. Louis and uh, by home and by pride. But I want you to call me Uncle Tim, all right? Oh, Uncle okay. Tim, because you know why? That's what Shannon calls me. She's my niece, and you know the story. When Shannon was nine, she was diagnosed with cancer. Sure, it affects the body. It was affecting uh, Shannon's bones, all right? But it also affects the soul. It affects the heart. It affects the mind. So therefore, it needs a holistic, all-embracing treatment. Just the aspect of having an organization that is focused towards supporting the families in this, in this capacity is, is really a powerful gesture. And so Friends with Kids with Cancer became a family. Uh, they took care of her. They made her smile. Uh, they made her feel good after, after uh, uh, she was throwing up after chemo. Uh, there might be books that she was hoping for. There might be a new a dress for her doll. Uh, there might even be a milkshake. There might even be getting her nails done, see, because she was feeling so down. It might be company. And the amazing people just show you that there is still good humanity in the world <laughs> and that it, it, it helps you get through things that you don't think that you can get through. Friends, for me personally, is about living. Friends is about happiness and love it is a charity that helps a child cope with their cancer in a non-medical way. Everybody is rightly tending to the physical, to the body, uh, to the medicinal, to the surgical, and rightly so, thanks be to God, we got the experts there. Though even the experts will, will bow in deference to those who are also caring for the soul and the heart and the mind those other needs that they got. And that's where the pros of, uh, from friends of kids with cancer come in. God bless them. When your child is frightened or in pain, there's nothing you won't do to make it better. Friends of Kids with Cancer is a St. Louis charity dedicated to making it better, moment by moment, day by day, child by child. You can bring joy to the life of a child battling cancer. Please call now and be a friend. $15, $50, whatever amount you can give can make a big difference. Call now or visit friendsofkids.org. Hi, I'm Avis, and when I was 15, I was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma. Friends really wants to make sure that children with cancer don't fall behind in school. They provide tutors and coordinate with schools to get classwork so kids can stay in the same grade as their friends. Friends bought me a new laptop because my old one wouldn't allow me to take the online courses I needed. Now I'm just one year away from graduating. I'm grateful they care so much about our education. Ready? Buddy, Buddy sees a boy. boy. And Buddy and likes the boy. Friends of Kids with Cancer has meant everything to me. I mean, from the beginning when nobody was sure if this would even work in terms of bringing a teacher to the treatment centers, for example. What kids are going to want to do homework, for instance. And the kids, for the most part, love it. And it kind of gives them a whole sense of normalcy. Oh, bravo. Well done. Emphasizing the importance of education is, in my mind, the strongest statement of hope that you can give a child. You'd be amazed at how much kids love homework. I mean, at least in the sense that it, they feel like everybody else. They have to miss so much school. It's actually a relief for them to sit down and feel like they're keeping up. So then when they do go back to school, they don't feel like they're so far behind. These, uh, these children would have terrible struggles academically at school, the vast majority of them. So the, the foundation is really giving them the opportunity to be successful students. All right, do you remember how to do it? Yeah. By preparing a child for the future, it is a statement that you believe that this child has a future to live for and will be here. And so by emphasizing education, we emphasize hope. I think it provides a lot for the kids in terms of keeping up with school and being ready for school. But even more than that, Friends of Kids with Cancer provides for services long after treatment if necessary because of the late effects that cancer and radiation treatment can have on children. 
they were able to develop comprehensive treatment plans way before anybody else, and they recognized the concept of chemo brain really virtually before anyone else. And so the doctors, and specifically Jill Turek, educationally were going out to schools years ago talking about this, which then it was not accepted as a reality. Now it is. And so they were really trendsetters in terms of doing that work early on. I think Friends of Kids with Cancer makes a difference in kids' lives in a number of ways. Because of Friends of Kids with Cancer and the generous donations and grants, it's possible for children to go through the educational system seamlessly. Whereas what we can do with tutoring is keep them abreast with all of their subjects, keep them in school with their peers so they don't lose their childhood. Think of your childhood memories. All of your childhood memories are virtually going to be tied to something around school. If you lose school, you lose the childhood. And so tutoring allows the kids to stay in school. Tutoring allows the kids to stay current with their peers. Tutoring gives them hope, and tutoring helps give them back their childhood. And I'm proud to be a part of it. For a family with a child in treatment with cancer or a blood-related disease, time is scarce, money is tight, and laughter is often hard to come by. But Friends of Kids with Cancer walks alongside these kids and their families every day, bringing light into an otherwise dark time in their lives. Families in St. Louis need your help. You can make a difference in a child's life. Donate now to Friends of Kids with Cancer. Help a kid with cancer. Be a kid. Call now or visit friendsofkids.org. I'm Anne Marie, and when I was 16, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. Friends of Kids with Cancer creates a community for families of cancer children. The events they create for us are very special. Simple outings like parties and cooking classes just let us be kids. Right before I went for my transplant, they gave me tickets to a blues game. And my favorite part of the night, I got to ride the Zamboni. There was lots of opportunities in which friends would email or call us and say, hey, we've been um, given tickets to a Cardinals game. Would your family want to go together? And that's just something we wouldn't have done. Even though we were having a rough time as a family trying to help support Cora, friends supported us and supported our family and encouraged us to be a family and for my kids to be kids and to have fun and do good things. For them to be able to go to um, the Magic House for a night or go to the zoo on a weekend, those are just great, healthy distractions for families to realize that there are normal activities that we still get to do that I think without friends would be hard for a lot of families to do. Friends of Kids with Cancer does a fashion show, and the very first year that Cora was diagnosed, she was 11 years old, and of course, being on chemotherapy, had lost all of her hair. It's easy to not feel great about how you look and who you are, and the fashion show made it all about each kid who was in the fashion show and made them feel amazing and special and dressed them up so they looked beautiful. Then we sat afterwards and watched how people just donated money just to help friends of kids with cancer, and I think that was the most touching thing for us was just to see how much these people cared about our family. I mean, she just blossomed and loved it. <laughs> I mean, she's just really starting to <laughs> come out of her, the, I mean, she was always kind of social, but she's really just beginning to come out. It's such an emotional feeling sitting there watching, but I'm sure that it's triumphant for them too, just being able to be given the opportunity to do it, but also feeling accomplished at the end of the day when they've done it. I am a believer in the positive, and I believe that all these things that friends do impact entire families with almost an injection of positive. It's a wonderful opportunity for families to unite, for families to meet other families, and for them to just have fun. They're such unique experiences. It's all about that family unit. Keeping that unit together is so important to us because the patient suffers, but the whole family suffers right along with the patient. And it's tough to live your lives normally without having the resources we give them. I think it just really, really helps. One of the burdens of fighting cancer is monetary. It just is. And the medical gets very expensive. And there have been times when 
it became so overwhelming. We're a paycheck to paycheck family, you know. And when this came along, I mean, we were really worried. I mean, really, really worried. Cause I mean, it was like, we just got blindsided with it. We didn't know we needed friends until we needed friends. And their presence throughout Caleb's battle has been such a blessing and we don't know how we would have done it without them. My wife and I were just like, how are we gonna get here every day that we need to be here? I don't think people really realize the financial stress that having a child in treatment for cancer causes on the parents and on the whole family unit. Unfortunately, a lot of times the mom or the dad may lose their job. They don't know where to turn. You know, they have counted on that paycheck and now they even need it more than ever to pay these medical bills. Friends out of nowhere would gift us with gas money to come to and from the cancer center. That's huge. It, it, it's huge to be able to not worry about that. It really, really helped a lot. Families in St. Louis need your help. Your donation to Friends of Kids with Cancer can put a smile on a child's face. A $15 donation can buy a toy to make a bad day better. $25 could pay for a family lunch or gas card. $50 or $75 could pay for tutoring or a much needed family outing. Make a difference. Donate now to Friends of Kids with Cancer. Help a kid with cancer be a kid. Call now or visit friendsofkids.org. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Friends of Kids with Cancer. This is a local charity that genuinely helps kids. They are such amazing people. I'm honored to call Friends of Kids with Cancer my family. Your donation can help bring smiles to kids who are battling cancer every day. I know for a fact that Friends truly supports the entire well-being of the child. This charity holds the key. It holds the key for hundreds of children who live in St. Louis. It's a local charity. Friends make a very dark time much brighter. You are thrown into a family, and that's what it is. It's a family that it is just amazing, and you cannot get through it alone. You can't and everyone is just so wonderful. It's not a cure for them, but it's so important for them to have that self-esteem, to feel good about themselves. They're losing their hair, they don't feel good, they lose their friends, they can't play sports. You know, they feel like their childhood has been taken away, so that's why we say helping a kid with cancer be a kid, because we don't want them to lose that childhood. When they're going through what no one could possibly imagine. I mean, it's, it's awful to see it, but Friends turns that around and makes it something that you can live with, and not only live with, but that is positive. If anyone is thinking of donating to a charity, this should be at the top of your list. Nothing helps children more that I have ever seen than this. You have no idea how it impacts an entire family. So please, somewhere in your heart, even if it's a minimal donation, help Friends of Kids grow. This organization just brings happiness and light to parents and children. I mean, children that are so little that they don't really understand what's going on, but it makes such a difference to the family. So I mean, donate to Friends of Kids with Cancer. They're amazing. Thank you.